Hello, all you beautiful people. I'm Ashley and this is Joyful Noise Learning if you are new here. Anyway, I'm gonna do a do a lesson with me. Um, in light of the elections coming up, which is like next week, it's crazy, huh? Um, I am doing an elections unit from Sunlight. They put out a quick little mini unit that I found and I was like, oh great. Um, I had a friend share it with me and I was like, let's do this. So I wanted to share with you uh, one of our lessons that we're doing and you can follow along with us today and maybe a little bit tomorrow too. And uh, I have a few picture books that I picked out that we get to read together. So I'm gonna share those with you. Uh, don't mind our messy table. We like to do unit stuff during lunch. <laughs> and um, my daughter is also working on uh, uh, making a board game right now. So that's all over here. So here we go. This do a lesson with me video is in collaboration with Sarah at Rolling with the Rouses. She has awesome, fun videos on her channel about large families, homemaking and homeschooling as well. Uh, she also loves Jesus and sharing her experience with that. Uh, it's been incredible getting to know her. And we've also been joined by Christy at Ethnic Green Living. So be sure and check out their videos for the elections unit as well and see what they have done. Uh, for teaching our kids on this topic. So these are some of the picture books that I looked up at our library. We ha I have not read this with the kids yet. I think they've looked at it, but I haven't read it. Uh, Vote for our future uh, today on election day. This one was fun. I really liked reading this one. Did you like that one, Corbin? Uh, shh, we're writing the constitution. We're gonna read this one today. Uh, Duck for President, we liked that one. There's also a video on YouTube we found, so we've read that one. And we have this it? Vote For Me uh, by Ben Clinton. Oh, it was, it was on Amazon. Amazon. You're right, Elena. So these are the, some of the books. We have a few more at the library I haven't picked up yet, but there's those. And then here is our Guide to Elections in the United States of America. So we noticed that the first few chapters basically are um, a history of government as a whole. Thanks, Corbin. Uh, a history of government as a whole, and then it goes into a little bit of American history. Uh, but it's super simple, easy to read. Um, I did notice that it is better for older kids. It does have writing prompts too, which was great. Which is great for older kids. They can write. You can print off the sheets and write directly on it, or you can write it in a journal. Um, so you basically read it with the kids, talk about it with the kids. So I think this is great. The wording in it is better for older kids. I would say maybe third grade at the youngest, um, but more, more good fit for fourth, fifth and sixth um, grade for sure. So that's where I think it would fit best. Um, but I just read it to the kids and talk about it with the kids and um, we read the picture books and that's what we've been doing. So, all right, let's do our lesson on the three branches of government. Shh, we're writing the Constitution by Jean Fritz. Pictures by Tommy Diapola. I thought you were actually shushing me. <laughs> no, I was. I was shush. That's what it says. Shh. <laughs> had no overall legal system. So although the Congress could make all the rules it wanted, it couldn't enforce any of them. Yeah. Okay, so we just read the first several pages of this picture book. I didn't realize it was a little bit bigger and longer than some of the other ones. You can't really read in one sitting, but we will finish it tomorrow. And already I was pretty impressed. I was like, Wow, it's very relatable to today. And some of the things that people are dealing with in their government is, it's very interesting. You need to just get it from the library and check it out yourself. Um, or I'll link to it in the description box below. You can get it from Amazon. Um, but I'm pretty impressed with this book so far, for sure. So we did talk about the three branches of government. And um, tomorrow we're gonna draw a picture all together of the three branches of government. And um, my fifth grader was following along pretty well. Um, the younger boys were kind of in and out, but it is what it is. So, <laughs> all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Constitution. And we're back. <laughs> okay, guys, we are back uh, for our second day of lesson today. 
Um, we're gonna read a little bit more in sh okay. we're writing the Constitution. Um, it is a really interesting book, really enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you my playlist that I made on YouTube for some videos that I found about government for kids. We're gonna watch a couple today on the three branches of government. And then hopefully we'll draw a picture about the three branches of government okay. that we learned about. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so we read a few more pages in the book and now I wanted to show you my uh, playlist that I made on YouTube um, that has a few videos on the government. So I went and I put them kind of in order of what we're gonna be studying in the unit study. Um, I will link to this playlist in uh, the description box below so you can enjoy it and you can enjoy it while you watch it with a fox <laughs> and a sock. <laughs> Corbin, can you draw the leaves on there? You, you want me to draw it like that? So should these be skinnier? Yeah, they're fine. Are they okay? All right. Okay, you draw the tiny leaves. It's good to be broken, right? Okay. Nice. Very good. Oh, he needs a coffee cup. The president needs a coffee cup. You gotta just add some, oh, you gotta. <laughs> well, ladies, I went to the library yesterday afternoon after I filmed, so I needed to show you some more books I picked up that were on my list that were on hold. So. Um, this one is, this is our constitution. Um, it is written by an immigrant, basically, and his experience uh, coming to America. Um, and so he shares some of his personal experience and then a little bit of history as well for how the constitution was created. It does seem like it's a middle school level book, but I might, um, I did start skimming through it myself and it was really fascinating. I might read it myself, um, but I will also probably give it to my fifth grader uh, is to see if she wants to read it as well. So this will definitely be optional for sure. But here's some more uh, picture books I found. If I were president, this one looks way cute. We the people, this one is cute because it's not um, or there's a nice copy of the Constitution there, but it's not a lot of words. It's uh, just a few, it's a little bit of a summary of the introduction of the Constitution um, with just a few pictures that um, depict certain areas of the United States, a little bit of history, historical pictures, a uh, little bit of just kind of describing a visual description of uh, the introduction to the Constitution. So um, this is pretty cool. And then this one as well. So uh, Granddaddy's Turn, A Journey to the Ballot Box, um, about, we haven't read it yet, I did just get it, but uh, about a African-American family and how um, their, his grandpa, I guess, gets to vote. But yeah, really good historical images here. Very, very neat. Looks like he took a picture. The mummy. Yeah, of being able to vote. So, all right. Well, I hope those are helpful for you guys. All right, so Corbin usually likes to be in the videos with me, but um, you told me what to draw, right? So mommy did most of the drawing on our picture, <laughs> um, but uh, they told me what to draw so and where to put it. So uh, we're gonna finish it up in a little bit and we thank you so much for joining us on um, doing a lesson with us. We are going to watch the rest of those videos over the next few days and um, keep reading about uh, the branches of government and elections and all of that. So I put a link in the description to the lesson plan that, <laughs> to the lesson plan that I found from Sunlight. 
So thanks for joining us, guys. Oh, say goodbye. Bye. 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 Say, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Body, mommy. This is his body. Good. You drew. You drew very Can good. Can you legs? I, he doesn't need legs. It's kind of like he's far away and you can't see it.